Today, why you need keyboard shortcuts in order to master ProPresenter. Hi and welcome again. My name is Paul Clifford and you might recognize me from my YouTube channel where I've got 216 now 217 videos on ProPresenter. If you want to master ProPresenter or any other program for that matter, the easiest way to do so is with keyboard shortcuts. Think about it. The mouse is actually really inefficient. First, you have to move your hand from the keyboard and find the mouse. Then you have to find the pointer on the screen, which can sometimes itself be difficult. And finally, you need to move to where you want to activate the icon, menu item, or whatever. Touch screens are much faster because you can move your hand directly to the part of the screen you want to activate. But, because of the way the UI works, certain features will still be hidden behind hamburger menus or on other screens you need to swipe to. The oldest and fastest way of interacting with the computer is the keyboard. It's still the best, and here's why. All the keys are always in the same spot. I learned to type in 1991, and I don't even have to look at them. I just put my fingers on the home keys and translate my thoughts into words. While I could click on File and then Save in the menu, I know that Command S on a Mac or Control S on a PC or a Linux box does the same thing and those keys are always in the same place. There's a problem though. While there are system level keyboard shortcuts like Control or Command S for save, Control X for cut, Command C for copy, Command U for underline, etc. If you want to master a specific piece of software you need to memorize the commands that work for that software. So while Command I, italics, just works just about everywhere, shortcuts like Command L do different things in different software. In Chrome, it means open new location, and in Pages for Mac, it means lock selected objects. As a result, you need to know not only what it is, but what it does depending on the software you're using. There is a solution though. If you need a specific piece of software to do a specific thing just by the keyboard skin. Until now they've only been available for software like Photoshop or Final Cut Pro but not ProPresenter. That's why I'm pleased to announce the ProPresenter 6 keyboard skin. It's designed to make shortcuts easy to find and even easier to execute. Imagine that you get to church ready to create the presentation for the week. You open up ProPresenter, create a new presentation, search in the library for songs you need, open up Bibles to add scripture, cycle through the backgrounds you have to find the right one for the week, add cues, open up the audio bin, turn on the output, add a countdown, and open up scheduler so you know the church will start on time. Or not. The power of keyboard shortcuts is that you can do all of that or at least switch between those tasks without searching for where they are in a menu or submenu. What's more, it'll save you time. Time you can spend with your family or maybe more likely time that will help you get done before church starts, not after. So, that's why I made this. I really had this idea that I could bring to ProPresenter and the church world something that professional designers have had access for years, a keyboard skin. It's a simple piece of tech, but I think that you'll find that it will save you tons of time and help you and other people that 
use ProPresenter at your church to master it in record time. So, take a look at this campaign and see if the Pro 6 Magic Keyboard Skin is right for you.